So with spring in the air, I wanted to build a simple birdhouse that anyone with any level of woodworking skill could build. Please note that treated wood is not recommended for animals and that this video is for demonstration purposes only. I had some fence picket material left over from some planters I had built for a customer, so that is what I'll be using in this video. If you would like a free copy of the plans for this birdhouse, please drop a comment in the section below and I will get those out there for you. For the project sides, you'll need one piece, three and a quarter by six and three quarter inches, and another piece, four by six and three quarter inches. For the roof, you'll need one piece, four and five eighths by seven and three quarters, and another piece, five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. The front and back panels are both three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Here I'm just ripping off the factory edge to make sure I get a clean, smooth edge on both sides of the piece. Starting with a fresh edge will ensure your project stays in square and will make assembly much easier down the road. On some of the longer cuts, you may want to use a table saw if you have access to one since miter saws tend to try and pull the piece at an angle. Getting a straight edge takes time and practice and can also be dangerous if you're not using a miter jig or a safety stick. With any project, your safety should always come first, so if you're unsure about making a particular cut, my advice is to not make it. Now I'm setting the saw to a 45 degree angle to cut the sides of the roof. Make sure to use caution when doing this on a miter saw. I'm using a laser to make sure my blade cuts in the correct position on the corner of each board. I like the look of the final project when doing this, but you can leave the edges straight if you prefer. Using a Forstner bit, I drill a one and a quarter inch hole in the front panel the center of the board. Depending on what species of bird you would like to host, the hole may vary in size. Hooray, hooray, on to the sanding. You can skip this step if you want to, but I may go back later and paint on collegiate colors or something. So I figured I would go ahead and make it smooth since the shop was already in need of a good cleaning. Always make sure to wear some kind of respirator when sanding, especially when sanding wood that has been treated. You can't always see or smell the dust particles, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. Normally I would hook up my dust collector. Since this was such a small project, I decided my DeWalt's bag filter would suffice. Moving on to assembly. I'm using Pipe Bond 3 waterproof wood glue and 18 gauge brad nails. Wood glue is not necessary, but your birdhouse will last a lot longer outside in the elements if all of the joints are properly sealed. If you do not have a brad nailer, good old fashioned hammer and nails are also another option. It can also be very fun for children or beginners when just starting out in woodworking. After all, the whole point of woodworking for me is that I have fun and enjoy what I'm doing. That's what it's all about. Before mounting the ends, make sure to mount a screw a quarter inch down from the top point. This will be used later to connect your hanger. I drill a pilot hole to avoid splitting the piece and only run the screw in about a quarter of an inch to avoid going through the other side. Now glue these in place and secure with brad nails. Be very careful not to nail yourself to your project like I did in another video. Unfortunately, it wasn't the first time and I sure it won't be the last time. You better get ya. After checking fitment, I measure in one and a quarter inches from each side of the roof edges and drill a small hole big enough to fit my hanging wire through. In this case, I'm using 12 pound test fishing line, but you can use whatever you have on hand. I probably would recommend something sturdier. After both ends are through, tie them off on one of the screws that you mounted previously on each end. This will allow the roof to be easily removed for cleaning year to year. Special tip, always check for wasps or other kinds of insects before removing the lid. Your birdhouse is now complete and ready for paint or whatever you decide to do with it.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and maybe even learned something from it. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I will try to answer everyone as soon as I can. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.